Good evening. Tonight we have a Asus GL552 VW mainboard. It's the Asus Republic of Game laptop. So this was sent in from a customer from Namibia all the way to Cape Town. It was at the other computer repair shop and they said it is not repairable. So I did have a look at this and found what was faulty. I'm just going to show in this video what I found and how to test various stuff. So the problem is that the PCH is faulty and I'm going to show you two ways how I test that the PCH is faulty. That's not the only thing that's faulty. Um, if you have a look at your charging IC, which is that one over there, there's a tiny little hole in it, so most probably that chip is also faulty. Um, somebody messed around with the uh, 1 volt, 105, 1.05 volt power supply to the PCH. Um, so I'll have to check what's going on there. Um, so what normally I do when I get a board like this is I will take the multimeter. Let's see if we can get it in shot. And I would diode test all the coils. So red probe on ground and I would go and check all all the coils. That's normal for CPU. So that's normal for CPU. Um, let's check this one over here. That's all CPU. That's normal. Ah, CPU. Uh, same one. Oh, sorry, that's GPU. That's normal for GPU. That's fine. That's CPU. 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 Let's check this one over here. It's fine. This one is for charging. That's why I say that chip is faulty over there. That's fine. And then this one in the bottom. It's the power for the PCH, and if you have a look there, we have a dead short. On ground, you'll see that's a dead short. So, what I also like to do is test the USB ports. Because the USB ports goes directly to the PCH. So... This is USB 3, <clears throat> so you had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pins one side, or 1, 2, 3, 4 but pins on the other side. So I'm not interested in those 5 pins. What I'm interested in is the two data pins of the normal USB 2. So if we have a look, that's a 5 volt. Okay. That's normal. That one there should be ground. That's normal. And then the two center ones should be data negative, that's short to the ground, and data positive, which is also short to the ground. And that's also true for the other USB ports. So that definitely tells me that the PCH is faulty. Now, I did order the new PCH, and it's late tonight, it's 12 minutes past 11. So, tomorrow, for you, which will be later, 
I'm going to remove the PCH, remove the PCH, remove all the heat sinks. No, I can do that now, and then we set for tomorrow. Uh, remove the hard drive, remove the RAM, remove the heat sinks, tape up some stuff, put it on the reflow machine, and replace the PCH. Do you have it? Like I said, I ordered it before. Uh, we're going to need to change that chip. We need to see once we remove the PCH if the short is gone. I'm pretty sure it will take the short away. Somebody took a MOSFET off here, so I'll have to replace that MOSFET. And uh, see if we can get this guy's board up and running. I think he will be very, very happy if we could um, actually get this up and running. So I don't know what happened to the board. Um, like I said, um, he asked in a group in on Facebook if there's anybody in South Africa who can do this job. I also told the customer I'll do this at the risk of he buying the parts and he paying for the parts. So the only risk I've got in this machine is if it doesn't work, it's my time. He's paying for the parts. I gave him the price on the parts. So he was willing to spend the few bucks on a part. Uh, that's also loose. So hopefully we can get this machine up and running again for him and uh, have a working laptop again oh so this is CPU and that's GPU my mistake sorry uh, take out the RAM alright so that should be it for now I'll get you back I'll show you how I remove the PCH, do some, maybe some time-lapse video on that. Um, you're going to need to remove this edge bonding they've got on here. I need to solder that back onto the board. And um, see what is, uh, if we can get this guy's machine up and running. that off before everything is is full of heatsink paste and I'll have to must probably tape up this connector the M2 connector for the hard drive I'll have to tape up the card reader slot, slot and tape off the keyboard and this little plug of here and LEDs I'll have to close up. Uh, oh, it's another one off. It's not just not even that one. Okay. So get that fixed up and um, take it from there. So what I'm gonna do quickly is just um, resolder these posts back onto the board.
I do is add a helping hand to get this solder flowing nice into and I guess heat gun set to 200 Do. do the next one. These mounts are actually very bad. Get some good solder in there. That should do it. I think I'm going to touch just all of them up. With the one, with two is going, definitely the other ones are not so far from going as well. Drop this A down slightly.
do something else. quite a big ground plane on this one. There we go. Take the other side. Do the next one. Let's maybe wrap. See if the two wrap system works better. It's probably just this let's fast forward this clip. Okay, and we've got two more.
Okay, and oops, sorry about that. The last one. Okay, so let's finish this one up and we can finish the can do the BCH tomorrow. Right. chip is off this is the old chip under the microscope so what I want to do is I want to check these caps on them and that's a dead short that's a dead short that's a dead short dead short Dead short, dead short, dead short, dead short. Yeah, it was still fine, and yeah, it was still fine. But those are all dead short lines, so this chip is gone. Let's uh, check the motherboard. Uh, to see if uh, shorts has gone on the USB port. Open line, open line. So if cloud PCH was the fault. All right, so. Now we need to clean this up, get the iron solder started. Well, I'm ready for that. This is the new chip. Well, I don't think it's new, but uh, at least if we check these capacitors, not shorted, not shorted. Not shorted, not shorted, not shorted, not shorted. Oops, you can't see that one. Not shorted, not shorted. These two were fine on the other one. That looks good.
that looks good. So this chip looks fine. This is the new one. So I don't think it's new. I'll show you why I don't think it's new. It's edge bonding, edge bonding, edge bonding, edge bonding. So this comes off some other board. Once all this up the temperature. Add some solder. Clean this off. Yeah, need to get my flux. Okay, it's all flushed up. See if I need to change a bigger tip.
see if I've got a bigger tip. So all I'm doing is making sure we've got no high spots. Yeah, and that looks good. Alright, clean this flux off.
get it, looks nice and clean now. Let's put one over there. Right. The rest of them looks good. Take some alcohol. Let's wipe it off. Now we need a thin layer of flux for the new chip. Okay, that should do it. Can add a new chip. That looks good. Looks like yeah. Alright, clicks in place, Let's put it back on the machine and we can resolder the new chip on. I've got a chip lined up and um,
machine is cooled down again. It's uh, run the cycle.